welcome back data detectives in the last video we have started a data analysis project in python on hotel bookings dataset so continuing the same today we are going to perform exploratory data analysis on the same dataset but before that let's do a quick recap of the last video in the last video we have imported all our libraries and imported our data which is hotelbookings.csv then we saw number various type of columns and rows available with us then we have performed a journal analysis understanding the rows and columns and their data types okay then we have cleaned our data so for cleaning our data we have removed the duplicate values handled the missing values then we have converted columns to their appropriate data types and then we have added important columns okay so let's start with our further analysis okay now we are going to do eda so So first of all let's filter out the numerical columns in our data set. The name of the data frame will be numdf1 and it will contain the columns with numerical data type. Okay. So these are the uh, columns with numerical data type which is lead time, previous cancellation, previous bookings not cancelled, booking changes, df uh, days in waiting list, ADR required car parking spaces total of special guests total stay and total people total stay and total people were created in the last video okay on running the same now let's see first the correlation matrix for these columns okay we can see the correlation matrix between each and every column of the data frame uh, but let's create a heat map for the same okay to create a heat map let's give a fixed size of 12 is to 7 and a dpi of 200 now sns dot dot heat map and num underscore df1 dot correlation and we will annotate equals to true okay so this is our uh, heat map for the correlation matrix of num underscore df1 data set so what is heat map heat map is a graphical representation of data where individual values contained in the matrix are represented in colors and where it is commonly used it is used in the correlation analysis which gives us the strength and the direction of correlation between each and every variable so from here we can see that the correlation uh, lies between 0 to 1 where 0 depicts no correlation and 1 depicts the complete correlation and as the value gets higher it means there is more correlation among two variables okay so and what gives the sign uh, so positive sign means positive correlation and negative sign means negative correlation so for example we can say that uh, for booking charges and previous cancellations there is a negative correlation of minus 0 0.01 which is a very weak correlation but if we see here uh, which is a uh, lighter red color between ADR and total people we can see there is a positive correlation between total people and ADR which is average daily rate so we can make this observation that there is a slight correlation correlation between total people and ADR and what is ADR ADR is average daily rate okay so this makes sense actually because more number of people means more revenue this means sex because we can write more number of people means more revenue okay 
so now uh, check for some outliers that is present in our data for the purpose of uh, checking our outliers we will create a scatter plot so let's create a scatter plot first let's copy this So SNS dot scatter plot. So X will be our DF one dot total stay. And Y will be DF one dot area. Okay. So we can see that there is an outlier which is present here. We can see there is an outlier which is present here and we are going to remove it. Here we can see that there is an outlier present. So we will remove it. Let's understand what is an outlier so outlier is typically defined as a data point that falls outside of a expected range or distribution of values in the data set it is an observation that is notably different from majority of our data so here we can observe that this data point is notably uh, different from our majority of data the majority of data lies here but this data point is way away from our actual data set so we are going to remove this okay so how we are going to do this is let's see we can see that uh, this well this data point lies above 5000 ADR so let's find ADR greater than 5000 so this will give us result true and false so let's see what is the value row for this so here we can see that the row number 48515 uh, which is for city hotel the ADR is ADR is 5400 okay so there is only one value and we will remove this value so for removing we will use the drop function so df1 dot drop so we will use the index of this we can manually write it or we can use this dot index and we will do in place equals to true so we have removed our uh, this point data point from our function if we again run this we can see there is no row which is uh, higher than 5000 adr okay now if we plot our scatter plot again we can see a clear trend from the scatter plot so from the scatter plot we can see that as the length of the total stay increases this is the total stay as the length of the total stay increases the adr decreases this means that for a longer stay if we stay for longer in these hotels the better deal for customer can be finalized okay so we can write this observation from the scatter plot we can observe that as length of the stay increases the ADR decreases so let's answer some questions data analysis questions based on our analysis of this data set so first can be first is most number of bookings by agent okay we have to know which agent books the highest number of bookings so before let's explore our data set okay this is our data set that is available with us so df1 dot agent will give us all the agents and let's value count this value counts so these are the value counts for each and every agent if we sort this sort 
values so this gives in the ascending order if we keep ascending equals to false we will get that agent number 9 has done most number of bookings the same can be depicted by a, a bar plot we can store this in a variable which is top agent okay and top agent is this so let's create a bar plot for same but before that uh, we have to find the top 10 values of the top agent so this will be the top agents top 10 agents okay now let's plot sns dot bar plot with x equals to x equals to top agent dot index and y will be our top agent okay so from here we can see that we have plotted the bar chart from this we can find that uh, agent number 9 has done most number of bookings okay now let's move to the another question which is which room type is in the most demand okay so let's see first of all create a variable top room which will give df1 dot assign room type dot value counts okay if we top room so from here we can see that uh, a number room has the highest demand then d then e then f okay so we have used assigned room type column for this analysis and let's plot a bar chart for the same so sns dot bar plot x will be our top room dot index and y will be top room okay so here we can see that the a number room has the highest demand and highest number of bookings and l is the lowest value okay so further we can see which room generates the highest area which room type okay so for the same let's explore this first which room type generates the highest area okay so for this we will plot a box plot okay so and we will use which column assigned room type column and average daily rate column so let's plot a box plot with sns dot box plot x will be df1 dot assign room type and y will be df1 dot area okay so from this we can see that the most demanded room type is a okay but better rooms are of type h g and c because they are generating the highest area so uh, what observation we can make that hotels should increase the number of room types a and h to maximize revenue okay here is h here is g and here is c okay so we can write our observation that most demanded room is a but better adr rooms are h g and c okay now let's answer the next question 
so that will be fourth and which is which meal type is the most preferred meal of customers which meal type is the most preferred meal okay so for this purpose we are going to use the meal column so df1 dot meal let's see the column this is the meal column okay so let's save it in a variable which is meal dot meal is equals to df1 dot meal dot value counts okay so meal is this so from this we can see that the most preferred meal type is pb okay and if we want to plot its bar chart so we can plot is like this so sns dot bar plot x is equals to meal dot index and y is equals to me this is our bar chart for the meal type from this we can make the observation that most customers prefer bb which is bed and breakfast okay now let's see another question which is what is the percentage of bookings in each hotel what is the percentage of bookings in each hotel okay so for calculating the percentage first of all value count the hotels at the percentage of bookings in each hotel we will first count the number of bookings in each hotel which can be seen from df one dot hotel okay we will count each number of bookings so this will be calculated with port value counts okay we can see that city hotel has 53000 bookings and resort hotel has approximately 34000 bookings okay so let's divide it by the length of tf1 okay and multiply it by 100 so this is our percentage bookings okay let's save it in a variable percentage bookings and let's plot a bar chart for the same so this will be sns dot bar plot with x is equals to percentage bookings dot index and y will be percentage bookings so from here we can see that 61% of bookings are done in city hotel and 38% approximately 39% of bookings are done in the resort hotel okay now see a next question which is which is number 6 okay this is fifth question and now we will see our sixth question which is what is the most common channel for booking hotels okay what is the most common channel for booking hotels so for this purpose we are going to use our distribution channel column so first of all let's see distribution channel distribution channel so here we can see that this is the column distribution channel and we will value count this to know the number of values in each category and we will save this in top channel variable okay so if we print the top channel we will see that ta-to has made the highest number of bookings and then direct then corporate then gds and then undefined if we want to plot a bar chart for this we can use the same method sns the dot bar plot which is x equals to top channel dot index comma y will be top channel okay you can see that the highest number of bookings are done through ta slash to channel now let's see what are the most busy months for bookings okay 
so what are the most busy month for the bookings okay so for this we will use the arrival date month column that will be df1 dot arrival date month here we can see that we have the months of arrival and let's value count this value counts and we can see that august has the highest number of bookings so we can save this in busy months variable and let's print this okay we can sim again uh, plot a bar chart for this so sns dot bar plot x will be busy months dot index and y will be busy months okay so from this chart also we can see that highest number of bookings are done in august month then july then may then april okay so next question will be from which country most of the guests are coming okay so let's see the guest with the country with highest number of guests okay which country most number of guests are coming okay so for this we can use our same approach let's first take country column and let's value count this uh, there are number of countries so for the purpose we can filter top 10 countries okay so top countries will be portugal great britain france spain and so okay so if we want to plot the bar chart for the same we can plot it let's copy and paste it and we can replace this with top country and here also we can replace it with top country okay we can see that portugal has the highest number of bookings now let's see how does how long do people stay at the hotels okay so for this let's write first a question which is how long do people stay in the hotel okay so for this we can use our total stay column that we have created total stay is this let's value count this so we have a number of days let's see the top 10 days okay so from this we can see the total number of days which has the highest is three days then one day then two days then four days then seven days and so on again we can plot a bar plot for the same let's plot it so this will be let's store in this uh, variable which is stay and we will use stay dot index and for y axis we will use stay so from chart again we can see that three number of days is the highest day for the data set okay so now the next question is which hotel which hotel makes the makes more revenue okay so for this purpose we are going to use group by statement so group by function is of is used to group data based on one or more columns and then perform operations it is a powerful tool for aggregating and analyzing data so for this purpose 
uh, we are going to use the same so df1 dot group by let's group by with hotel okay let's take the mean and now we have taken the mean by grouping by hotel okay so let's see what is the area so here we can see that the ADR of city hotel is 111 and the ADR for resort hotel is 99 we can plot a bar chart for the same so let's make it a variable hotel ADR and hotel ADR is this let's plot a bar plot sns dot bar plot is equals to hotel area dot index comma y hotel area so from this plot we can see that the ADR for city hotel is more than the resort hotel okay so it seems that the city hotel makes more revenue we can write the observation city hotel makes more revenue okay now the next question is which hotel has a higher lead time so which hotel has higher lead time so again let's use a group by statement and group it by hotel okay now let's take the median of it okay and see the lead time so we can see that the lead time for city hotel is approximately 51 and the median for lead time for resort hotel is 47 so here we can observe that city hotel has higher meet time than resort hotel which means customers generally plan their hotel visits way too early okay so we can conclude from this so here we also we can plot the bar plot so store in a variable lead time and lead time is this next will be sns dot bar plot x will be lead time dot index and y is lead time okay so we can write our conclusion here which is city city hotel has higher lead time and for both hotels customers customers generally plan their bookings very early okay now next question is which is the preferred stay length in each hotel okay what is the preferred stay length in each hotel okay so first of all we will filter out the our data frame on the basis of cancellation we will only take those bookings which are not cancelled so we will use is cancelled equals to zero so these are the bookings which are not cancelled
okay uh, let's see the data frame okay uh, this is the data frame for bookings which are not cancelled so we will let's store it in a variable not cancelled we see not cancelled and if we see the total stay there is num there are number of values so let's limit it okay, by taking only values which are lesser than 15 days okay so not cancelled bookings not cancelled less than 15 are these okay and let's store this in a different variable which is this one now let's plot a count plot count plot s1 dot total stay which is our x variable okay so there is no view let's create a hue to differentiate between the hotels so s1 dot hotel will be our hue so from here we can see that the most common stay length is less than four days and generally people prefer city hotel for shorter stay from here we can depict that that this orange category is for city hotel and blue category is for resort hotel so more numbers are for the city hotels and for shorter day length but for long stays as we can see that the resort hotel is preferred and there are lesser values city hotels okay so we can write our observation that more most common stay is less than four days and people generally prefer city hotel for shorter stays but for long stays resort hotel is preferred okay now let's see the next question which hotel has the highest higher number of booking cancellation rates so question is which hotel has higher booking cancellation rate okay so for this purpose we are going to use his cancelled column and for equals to one okay so let's see df1 dot is cancelled okay and let's equals to one these and you df1 so here we can see that these are the book, number of bookings which are cancelled okay so let's store it in cancelled now what are the cancelled bookings cancel bookings cancel bookings will be cancelled dot we are grouping it by hotel hotel and we will just count the numbers so first of all let's remove the variable and see what this is giving so here we can see that city hotel has 16,000 34 cancellations and resort hotel has 79 74 cancellations so we will take only is cancelled column okay these are the number of cancellations and let's save it in a variable which is cancelled bookings now let's see the total bookings so 
dfn group by portal and we will count the numbers based on is cancel okay these are the total bookings so we will save it in variable name total bookings okay so what will be the cancel percentage cancel percentage will be cancel bookings divide by total bookings into 100 so if you want to see cancel percentage this is the cancel percentage now okay this is our cancel percentage so here we can see that the city hotel has a higher booking cancellation rate than the resort hotel and for the same we can plot our bar chart also now next question is which hotel has a higher chance that its customer will return for the another stay so we have to check for the repeated guest so which hotel has a higher chance for repeated stay okay so here we just repeat the above uh, used logic and we will do for repeated guest column so let's create df1 dot is repeated guest equals to 1 and if we see the data frame this will be the data frame for the repeated guest and let's store it in repeated guest variable okay and if we want to group it by hotel so repeated guest equals to repeated guest dot group by hotel and we will count the numbers so and let's take it for only repeated guest column So if you want to see the repeated guests by group by hotel, so these are the repeated guests by hotel. So in city hotel, there, there are 1657 bookings of repeated customers and for resort hotel, there are 1707 bookings for repeated guests. If you want to calculate uh, the percentage, so first repetition will be equal to repeated guest divided by total guest we have not calculated total guest yet so let's insert a row above so total guests equals to df1 group by hotel is repeated guest okay so total guess into 100 so the percentage repetition for each hotel is we can see that city hotel has a 3.11 percentage of repetition and resort hotel has 5.02 percent of repetition okay now let's see the another question okay so we will start by grouping it by first first on distribution channel so distribution channel and then by hotel okay so we are doing a two stage group by statement so let's take the mean okay and let's see the area okay we can see that 
for corporate uh, for corporate distribution channel uh, and for city hotel 83.77 is the mean revenue and for resort hotel it is 53 for direct and for city hotel it's 112 and for resort hotel for the direct distribution channel in 106 and so on so let's plot um, bar plot for the same let's store in our revenue and we will make a data frame of the same so d1 let's name our data frame with data frame pd dot data frame revenue and we will reset the index okay so if we see the t1 data frame it is the same and let's plot its bar chart so when sns dot bar plot x is t1 dot distribution channel y is d6 dot d1 dot area we plot this we can see that this is our distribution bar plot for distribution channel and average daily rate and if we want to see the distribution as per hotel so let's create a u with even dot hotel so we will get a distribution bar plot for revenue generating these two hotels so the next question is does a longer waiting period causes cancellation of bookings so let's see so first of all we will see df1 dot days in waiting list is this and we will select only which are not equals to zero and we will take the data frame So this is our data frame where waiting there is a waiting list so these we can assign our variable name dot weighted bookings okay now let's plot a kd plot for the same so kd plot results the distribution of continuous variable and it is used to visualize shape of data and patterns so let's plot a KD KD plot so X will be days in waiting list and data is our weighted bookings so this is the KD plot for complete let's separate it by cancellation So from here we can see that most number of bookings that are cancelled have waiting period of less than 150 days. Okay, we can see that. But also most number of bookings that are not cancelled, which are these, have also a waiting period of less than 150 days. Hence we can predict that the waiting period has no effect on the cancellation of bookings. Okay so let's write this observation whether or not getting allotted the same room type as demand is the main cause of cancellation for bookings first of all we have uh, 
saw that longer waiting period has no can has no effect on cancellation of bookings. Now if we see whether not getting the same room type is the reason for cancellation of bookings. So first of all, we will use the data frame df1 dot is cancel equals to one and we will take the data frame df1 this okay this is the cancellation data frame available with us now we are going to count equals to zero and count one equals to so to calculate the count for not getting the same row will be if cancellation in the cancellation data frame reserve room type is not equals to assign room type and we will store this in cancellations same room not allotted Now let's value count if same loop allotted or not same loop not allotted dot value counts So here we can see that false has uh, 23,392 and true is 616. Let's calculate the percentage length of cancellations and multiply it by 100. So here we can see that not getting the same room as demanded is not the case of the cancellations of the room. A significant percent of bookings are not cancelled even after getting a different room as demanded okay now let's see another question which is does not allotting the same room as demanded affect ADR which is average daily rate so we can plot a box plot for the same so let's keep the x variable same room not allotted okay and 5 will be ADR and data equals to So from here we can see that for not getting same room who affects the ADR people who didn't get the same room have paid a little lower ADR except for few exceptions okay which types of rooms which type of customers mostly 
make bookings okay so first of all extract only the final bookings data frame so we will remove all the cancelled bookings so this is our df1 which are not cancelled so not cancel equals to this and we can see that not cancel is this data frame okay so we want to see how many singles make the bookings so for this what we can do is not the not cancelled data frame if we see the adults if we make this equals to one then we have a single person booking and if we make children children equals to zero and babies will also uh, zero okay now let's see the data frame not cancelled so this is the data from for singles let's give us a variable singles and let's see the length of the singles so 12,974 bookings are done by singles want to see the couples so for couples we make adult equals to 2 and we will make children 0 and baby 0 so let's see the length of couples is 40,624 and for family again copy this so for family if there are total people more than two if total people are more than two for combining adults children and babies then it will be a family so if we see the length of family it will be 9286 so from this we can observe that most number of bookings are done by couples although we are not sure that they are couple as data doesn't tell about that they can be two males they can be two females or they can be male or female both okay so we can write our observation here mostly bookings are done by couples although we are not sure that they are couples as data doesn't tell about that so this was our data analysis in python project for hotel bookings ada we have done number of things like uh, importing our libraries then we have done journal analysis then we have clean our data where we have removed all the duplicate values and the missing values then converted the columns to data types and added important columns okay then we started answering few questions on eda so we have used the heat map here we have used the scatter plot to see the outliers 
then we have used number of bar charts to see the findings who are the top most or the lower most customers agents room type demands etc we have used a box plot to see the highest adr uh, okay we have seen the meal preferred meal also then we have used a group by statements to so, filter out the details to get the details based on each hotel and to answer few questions on the same okay then we have used the kd plot to see which uh, whether uh, long uh, waiting period causes cancellation on bookings etc and finally we have seen uh, the bookings are either done by singles couples or family